This year, we are taking this opportunity to honor Bill Griffith, who is retiring after 34 years of service to Aramont and to the community of artists that Aramont serves. It's been a true honor for me and for so many in attendance to work and to serve with Bill. Thank you for coming tonight as we pay tribute to all things Bill Griffith. It's my pleasure to uh, present to you not one, but two plaques. So I have one from the city of Gatlinburg and one from the county here. So therefore, on behalf of Mike Werner, the mayor of the city of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and on behalf of the city commission, the city manager, and the local citizens, do hereby express our appreciation and recognize this career of Bill Griffith for his outstanding work and the many contributions he has made to the Aramont School of Arts and Crafts and the Sevier County community over the last 34 years. Also, the mayor would like to make this day, Bill Griffith Day, here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. A significant component of his time as assistant director was his ability to maintain that wonderful studio practice, which as we have witnessed earlier this evening, some fantastic pots are out there in the gallery. And it's so nice for me to see them because I remember when some were being made, but how nice to kind of relive those experiences and see the quality of work and how these pieces have been received throughout the world. As a skilled listener, he had an extraordinary rapport with faculty, staff, and students, and engaged with them in very positive ways. Bill's legacy is very strong, built from pursuing what he was most passionate about, a deep connection to art education. He has a great understanding of what the arts do for one's health and happiness. Congratulations, Bill. What a night. What a 34 years. Enjoy retirement. Andy Moon knows firsthand the importance of Bill Griffith's work with early career artists. An Aramont artist in residence and a working professional ceramicist, Andy worked closely with Bill over the years. She will now talk with us about Bill's contributions to young artists. And I know that I became a resident artist to push and understand who I wanted to be as an artist and an educator. But I had no idea I would, <laughs> I would acquire such an outstanding relationship with Bill as a new mentor. Bill is a mentor that leads without an ego. He leads without judgment. And he leads for the, the larger whole, the whole community. So as a resident artist, I considered that as a success, leading for the whole community. We are presenting a gift by clay artist Jennifer Allen, uh, and we're hoping that, you know, uh, you'll remember how important you are to us here on staff every time you see this in your collection, uh, your vast collection, put it up front. <laughs> um, but we'll miss you, and we're, we're really, you know, honored to have had you with us this, this amount of time. But I really want to thank each one of you that's here. You made a choice. You made a decision that this is where you're going to give your time this evening. To Aramont and to honoring Bill Griffith. The word legacy has been mentioned and sometimes it's tossed around a little bit. But Bill, you're a true legacy in that we can never thank you enough. So now to my official duties, and, and one of the things is our Board of Governors is working to make Aramont even better so that there's a place, a spirit, an Aramont experience for more Bill Griffiths. Because I feel sure you've planted some seeds, not just here, but around the world that are going to grow and come back and contribute here and everywhere else. I am speechless, but I wrote something, so. 
Sandy, thank you for hiring me in 1987. And your ongoing support and mentorship and, um, you know, I had passion and low standards when I came to Aramark. <laughs> And Sandy taught me that it's high standards, and everything at Aeromont is high standards. Even this evening is over the top, as those of you who have been coming to Aeromont. Sandy encouraged me, and she gave me the green light to develop some of my programs, and um, I'll always be thankful to her. Everything that was said about me, those were the nicest things I've heard since I made my first Holy Communion in the <laughs> second grade. So my heart is, it's a, it's a religious experience being here with all of you. So.